Hey guys, it's Casey here. I'm with my brother Micah here. He just got top eight in the Salem, Oregon regionals. I think we had like 220, something like close to almost enough for nine rounds, but eight rounds. He's playing voiceless voice. I want to start with shout outs. It's been 13 years since I topped. And I want to say that every Yugi Boomer out there, you can do it. The last time I topped with gadgets, and this is like light gadgets, as my boys say, so we're still doing it out here. I want to do some shout outs for NLA. Uh, you can save uh, for 10% if you uh, use code RPA on their website. Kile, you top of me, second place. Thank you, thank hey, you. Hey, we made it together. Adam for housing us and uh, being the common denominator in Vegas. We got Smog, Best Friend, Dubs, Rob, BK, Bobs, Rick, Isaac, Migs, Mark Campos, the free car guys in Oregon, they lent me some cards and then I never gave them back because they didn't care about finding us after. Yeah, they were they were super nice. I just need us a Ravis. And he was like, I have a random Ultra and it's like a dollar or two. And they just gave it to us. Same thing with Alina. They're like, eh, if you find me, cool. If not, keep it. Yeah, those guys. Yeah, super nice. Hey, and shout out to Cali Effect for believing me. We top 1% out here. And now I'm the top 1% of the 1%. I like my voice, you know what I'm saying? All right, let's start with this. Cool. <laughs> All right, so I'm playing super standard. I'm going to move real quick. I played three lows, diviners. This is like standard as hell. You just move on with those. I'm playing two and two. I was playing pendulum graph for a little bit. It didn't come up enough for me to want to negate a spell. I, I liked him more when everyone was using tactics, I, but it didn't end up working out like that anymore. Now everyone switched to cross out. The Magnemon, I only played Magnemon. I didn't play any other ones because all of these guys are dragons. And so when you're trying to make a push play, you're usually looking at Sarve or here if you're making another ritual play. So those are the only really ones that I was searching and it was just usually catching Link Karibos. Sometimes it hit Ronig, sometimes it, it was hitting Mirror and stuff like that, but mostly I was hitting uh, Link Karibos. Played two Droll and two Valor because of the package for Selene. Droll was okay for most of the day. I sided out mostly, but like the certain matchups it still just crushes like Runic. I went against the Manadium. I beat the same Manadium he played. Shout out to Daniel for uh, being a good sport about that. Yeah, it was awesome. Play the standard hand traps. I was gonna cut this and play other hand traps over because the fire sucks when they start taking it from you, but it's just such a good card that we ended up keeping it in anyway. Then we're just gonna play three spells, uh, two of these. I only play two. I know people love it at three, but I hate getting two spells in my hand. Ritual spell, it clogs so bad. I hate having it in my hand. So for most part, when I was playing these, it was for when I was going first. Every other time I just decided I hated them. The pot, of, I, basically I wanted three pots in my deck and I wanted to make room for those because I wanted the consistency of being able to grab this or this or this and, and be able to play. So I just went for more of like a standard, I'm, I'm gonna play and hopefully you can't stop me. The three traps are just the end of the hand traps. If you count Sarv, I'm playing, I think, 16 or 17 hand traps. If you don't, then I'm playing 14. And um, I just played one trap. I'm super aggressive with this deck. I put up the main board, and if they don't, then I'm just trying to usually link line with whatever they left me to kill them. So I'm playing the two Dynamondos so, because I, I take the greedy route most of the time. If I can't get the trap, if you're playing against the fire deck, you're most likely going to lose if you don't get to the trap anyway because they have so many push plays. You need this interaction. To, to deal with them or they're going to clobber you anyway. So it's it's Dino Mundo or Buzz for me. I don't like leaving without the trap. Uh, this guy to get over some of the boards. Most of the time they try to Zelantis this off the board, but as long as you can put this up and stop them from Zelantising this to reset it, or if it gets to 4,500, they're not going to be able to get uh, past your board and you're going to be able to kill them the next turn. Line it for the mirror matches. I never summoned it. I only had one opportunity to get crushed. Anima is my only link one because it's uh, the only one that is worth pretty much making out. I used to play Link Rebo for a little bit to like try to stall for a turn or, not, or something, but it, it never ended up working. Dark is part of the climb. SP is always broken, the Selene, and then I play Super Poly, so I play the Super Poly targets, you play these for Diviner, this is another Super Poly target for me because sometimes I have two Super Polys and I'm using this and another monster, but another popular deck that's out other than Branded is the Branded version out of Fusion, and so you could just uh, yoink them and start eating and killing them, and then this came up a couple times today. I played the other part of uh, the Dragons, Anti-Spell, I kept Anti-Spell in, went to a regional the weekend before and I got blown out by board breakers. They were like hitting me with like either Super Poly, some people were playing like old ones like Dark Ruler and uh, I never wanted to get crossed out at a certain time or any, like I just never wanted to get stopped. So I, I always wanted something on board and it was like between this and Solemn, but this doesn't lose me in time. So I just want to like draw a face, flip this up and make them use any spells that they have. And if they don't, then I'm, I'm usually winning or if they have ones that they can't chain at the time, they just have a bunch of dead cards. It does have the, the minus effect that you can get taken over your board and that uh, you might be able to lose, but at that point, it, it pretty much doesn't matter what card this was said. If they're going to rip the board from you, you're most likely going to uh, lose the game anyway, so I'd rather just take this. Obvious summon limit. You have the three Super Polys, the three Cosmics, and then these were good all day. 
I, I sided him in every time I was going second, and sometimes I kept him in going first against road decks that I didn't know what they did. Because you get dead barriers on the board with low and other like cards um, that just sit on the board, you can just always shoot something off with this. It's almost never like every time you pick it up, it always never feels like a minus. And then you're putting spells in the graveyard for old man. So he's just spinning them back to the deck. Thank you so much, Mike. I appreciate it. I'm glad that you were able to top again. Remember, Yugi Boomers, you can do it if you really try. You put your time into it. I think I think it's a great format, even though you're not playing fire. You don't have to play it. So there you go, man. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you.